Hi hey guys, in previous video I've installed the Arch Linux. Well, I've used the Arch Linux ISO 2024 1201, used it, um, used a torrent to download it. I've already installed it and I've given you the go to test it out because it works. Arch install is actually all good. Um, I do need to tell him to reboot not from the live DVD, so better kill it altogether close power of the machine and get rid of this thing from my optical drive and then it boots up with the not grub but system d by default and i ran the arconix nemesis scripts after choosing to have x4 xfc4 network manager you can see the uh, choices i've made with arch install on youtube and the video is number loading 4367 so 4367 if you go to our channel and you type in that number you'll get the video where i used to install this right to get to xfce and from there i run the article nemesis scripts and what do we get a nice sdm greeter dark links one right We've already set the size to be the correct size because it's a virtual machine. You need to help it from time to time. Again, this guy, my friend, come on, display. We've chosen this display, so that's already applied. And this is what you get then. A quick look, what did we install? Maybe category by category. You can freeze the screen, the video I mean then. Right, software RAM is there. All our apps will be here. A few Git things. Visual Studio Code and Melt and Sublime Text, I mean, those two are the ones I use. Years back it was Atom. That's gone. We need to adapt because it's all free. When it stops, it stops. Multimedia is there. Office, nothing. That is other, it doesn't know where to put it, right? It should be like accessories or something. That's up to the developer of Rofi. Voila. So that's that. That's what we have. A Super X is gonna log us out from this virtual machine. And then we go back to SDM, choose something else. Awesome, Xmonad. It's just a choice. It's just a, cl a few clicks away. Maybe I should um, in tell you in this video again, knowledge is power. Pseudo system, no, first pseudo pacman minus s virtual box. There is something called virtual box guest utils. There's a night version, Nox, or right, this one. I'm preferred to have this one and we wait sudo systemctl enable now the vbox service control f control f ah it's not enabling me let's see if it works if we log out it should have made my screen 1090 on 20080, but maybe it's now, right? So log out, log in, and see if that improves things. So we got ourselves a chat WM, not a nice one, right? Uh, first of all, Compton is sick in VirtualBox. So if we press a few buttons here, voila, you see this is not good at all. Control Alt O. O is gonna fix everything. Compton has been killed. There is no Compton at this point. Uh, Compton, Compton. Why do I say Compton? I'm so old school. Pykem, right, is not there. Pykem, that's the new name, and Compton is the old name. So if you Control Alt O again, then go for Pykem. It's launched. You see? So that's the issue. Control Alt O. Bye. Gone. And everything is nicer immediately no issues whatsoever on real metal it's just this thing 
What do you need to know? Well, if you want to learn about chat WM, it's going to go in here, right? Read everything that's in here, basically. So super shift D is a way to launch sublime text or super D is another way to launch sublime text. And what I do is drop a folder in there and then you start reading. This is the core business. This is the tiling window manager. So definitely read the one that's been used. That's this one and see what it all is. As you know, articlingsd.com has all the websites, all the, the videos and the articles about desktops. So that's where you should go. General information, super X is how you log out. Super shift X is a second way if the other one fails. Super enter is a terminal. Super shift enter, however, is a, well, Thunar, a file manager. Super Q kills it. Super shift Q kills it too. Super D is that one and Super Shift D is another menu. So KK clock, right? That's not going to do anything I see. But KK fire is, I was just curious what that would be, KK clock. <laughs> so that's the fire that's burning in our system. And basically it's, um, well, it did tiles, right? It's tiling window manager, making the design a little bit nicer is going for me to dawn dark that's my choice i can theme this one apply close and the mouse is already okay so this is what i would like to end up with and that will be fine right you may or may not have seen but i've made many 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 videos and migrated this particular thing to anywhere basically not anywhere but right you know what i mean let's have a look article linux nemesis i do urge that you learn how to script and this has been with me for over 15 years right before arc linux and i've been uh, using scripts like these on all these guys these are all arch links guys and at some point in time somebody said online what if Arch would not exist anymore, right? And I thought, yeah, I would like to have chat WM, the desktop you see up here, right? I would like to have it on Alma Linux, Anton OS, Debian, Fedora, FreeBSD. And I explained that in scripts here and examples that yes, it's possible, right? It is really possible to have any of this, plus all the apps that I want on Linux Mint and carry on with using Linux. And that's what I like to extend to the world, right? It's all Linux. Don't think in boxes, we're an arch. By the way, we're an arch, we're so proud. No, there's so many interesting Linux distributions out there. And it's a choice. As simple as that, it is a choice. And after going over all these versions here, of all these Linux distributions, I'm back, right? I'm back on Arch, I'm proud to be on Arch, and it's fast, it's flexible, I can do anything I like. Right, <laughs> again, it's a choice, you choose, don't follow me, you make up your mind, and uh, voila. Cheers.